How's it going subscribers? Today we're going to be talking about the company and the stock Groupon, GRPN. Now when we look at the short term, we can see that Groupon has gone up 2.35%. We look at the one week, we can see that Groupon has gone down 3.06%. We look at the one month, we can see that it's gone down 0.57%. We look at the three month, it's gone down 3.33%. One year, you can see that it's gone down 30.95%. But when you look at the five year, we could see that it's gone down 42.57%. So it's really bad. We could also see it's been in a zigzag motion. So right now it's, it looks like it's at the low point. So maybe you could hit these high points. So if you're looking to sell around the $5 range, uh, maybe you could do that and get it right now. But let's see what the fundamentals and the basics has to say first. We look at the volume. The volume is at 836,452, much, much, much less than the average volume, which is at 8 million. Market cap at 1.93 billion, which is massive amounts of money. PE ratio in the negative. We can see the 52 week low is $2.80, 52 week high $5.52. We can see that in the news, there isn't much major news besides the new marketing honcho from REI. And um, but other than that, so now when we look at the analyst rating, we can see 14 analyst ratings. 29% are saying it's a buy, 64% are saying it's a hold, 7% are saying it's a sell. When we look at the buy rating, we can see that Groupon should maintain its first mover advantage as it leverages its current relationships with local merchants to provide more attractive offerings for consumers. As more local businesses become more tech savvy, they may need less hand-holding from Groupon's sales force, which could potentially lead low to lower cost for Groupon. The CEO's battle Battleground in marketing, uh, Amazon could help the firm complete effectively with all direct sales competitors, including Amazon. We look at the sell rating, we can see that operating leverage, if any, is the only for the short term as Groupon will have to keep spending more to acquire new customers to order to increase transactions and return on investment for the merchant. If merchants become disenfranchised with its daily deals, this may either flock to Groupon's competitors or push back against the firm's high take rate. Groupon has needed to continuously spend to acquire customers and build a relationship with the merchants, and this spending may limit its profitability. Now, when we look at the research report, Groupon is losing the low mar margin cohort in, one, in quarter one, B, maintaining $4.20 fair value estimate. So we're expecting the, it to be around $4.20. And when we look at the um, the Morningstar rating would give it a three stars out of five. We got the economic amount, none. The uncertainty, very high in the stewardship. Poor, we got the earnings per share. Barely made it into the positive range. At least it's meeting its expectations. We get the volatility is medium. And the CEO is Richard Williams, headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, founded in 2008 and employs 6,576 people. Groupon Inc. provides marketing services by selling vouchers through online local marketplaces that offers mobile and online marketplace for people to discover and save company was founded by Andrew D. Mason, Eric Paul Lefexi, and Bradley A. Kiwa on January 15, 2008. And is headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, the FINRA listening for grpn as groupon and common stock there you guys have it thank you guys for watching smash that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you guys in my next groupon video on next dog video